What is up YouTube, Matt Lee here guys, and welcome to today's Q&A video. You guys know how much I love making these for you guys, and you guys asked a ton of great questions, so we got a great one in store for you guys today. But guys, to get the ball rolling, we're about to start this one off with Island Aesthetics, and he asked, what are your travel plans for this year, if many? So, bro, we literally, this is a completely random trip, it's something I did not expect to do. I literally booked a ticket today to fly out to Houston um, in June for the Summer Shredding Classic. So as soon as that whole Christian Guzman Summer Shredding came out, I was like, man, like how cool would it be to say I was part of the first ever Summer Shredding Classic? So I signed up for it. We're doing the in-person show, which is June 15th, I think. It's a Friday. So I booked the tickets today to fly out there with Taylor and my other two friends, Ricky and Abby. Um, so we're flying out that Wednesday and we're coming back that Monday. So we got the show Friday and then we're just gonna kind of relax in Houston that weekend and come back Monday. So a complete random trip, literally did not expect whatsoever, but I feel like it's like just random trips are always like the most memorable. So I'm really excited for that, um, especially just to participate in men's physique out there, that Summer Shredding Classic. Who knows, we'll see what happens. Um, but besides the point there, um, Taylor and I are looking to do another trip come, I think, fall or early winter. But we went to Aruba last year, had an absolute blast, and I think we wanna do like the Virgin Islands this year. It's kind of island hop maybe. I'm not too sure, we haven't put much thought into it. Maybe Jamaica, I, I just somewhere tropical. I just wanna go somewhere tropical again, especially like when it's freezing cold here in December, just to get away a little bit. So that's the plans right now, man. But Houston, right around the corner, and then whatever happens in the future after that, we shall see. Question number two comes from, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's username whatsoever but i'm just gonna put the question in here and he said how do you stay motivated to keep at the gym i stay motivated just because it's, it's me against me especially now because i'm about to get underway with prep i always want to compete against myself and i know i talked about this before on the channel to bring a better physique to stage every single time i step on that stage the prep literally starts when you guys are watching this probably within like five days so to me, staying motivated at the gym is always, you know, looking in the mirror and seeing myself as a competition. And it's competing against myself to get bigger, get stronger, get more shredded when it comes to getting up on stage. Um, so that's how I look at guys. But I know, like I said, I know everyone else uses different ways to motivate themselves whether it comes to the gym, whether that be getting stronger, um, just gaining size, getting shredded. So it's just all different. But for me, it's competing against myself day in and day out. Question number three comes from my boy Maurice Cooper. And he asked, how do you keep track of your diet without falling off of it? Maurice, great question, my man. I feel like this is a very common question that I get asked. And guys, I've tried many different things when it comes to dieting. I did if it fits your macros, which I completely respect. And if you guys do that, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I just feel like I was always falling off my diet when I was doing that. Like I had those numbers that I had to hit during the day, but some days I just would get lazy and just would not track stuff. And then some days I would just kind of go binge eat all this other stuff. And next thing you know, I was way over my fats and over my carbs. And I was like, oh, dude, this isn't good. But it's when I have a strict and steady diet plan in front of me, like literally everything written up, the same foods every single day, every single meal. That's when I stay true to it, guys. That's honestly when I never fall off. Um, when I'm prepping for shows, that's literally what I have. I have my six meals a day. They're the same meals day in and day out, which I mean, I know some people get pretty bored of that, but at the same time, like it's just easy for me just because I know exactly, you know, how much I got to cook up of it. Um, I plan the days when I got to cook and I just got everything like set and ready to go. Um, but I feel like for me, this really helps me not fall off the thing just because I have everything written out in front of me. So I have no excuse to really, you know, make that meal or get that meal in. But when it's, if it fits your macros, I feel like a lot of times, like, a lot of this stuff's not planned out, and it's just kind of as you go through, you log through, you know, log stuff down. And for me, that was very difficult to be honest with it all. But for me, guys, having a steady and strict meal plan up front, literally with everything written out, it's been a total game changer. So number four comes from Liam Appleton, and he asked, "What software are you on, bro?" So do I get this is another question I get asked a lot too. I use Final Cut Pro 10 um, for Mac. I mean, I know. I heard a lot of good things about it, a lot of bad things about it in the beginning, but I, it's all, like I said, I swear on Apple products. That's, I've always had a Mac, so I didn't want to go out of my way to get Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, but like I said, I bit the bullet, got Final Cut Pro, and I absolutely love it, guys. I swear by it. Anyone that asks me what I'm using, I will tell them that, and I highly, highly recommend it if you guys have Mac. Um, I know there's a lot of different stuff you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, but the more I use Final Cut Pro, I mean, you guys can see in like literally the quality of videos from my very, literally started making my first video to now, I've learned a lot and I just feel like just a lot of the stuff I learned was literally watching other people's videos on YouTube about how they do transitions and stuff like that. So there's just a lot out there about Final Cut Pro on YouTube if you want to search. I mean, there's this one guy I go to, Ryan Nangle. Hope I pronounced his name right. I'll put his channel below. But he's got a lot of great tutorials there, guys, how to use Final Cut Pro that I literally would just watch when I have breakfast in the mornings and just learn a ton of stuff. But yeah, that's the software I use, Final Cut Pro for Mac. Highly recommended. Question number five comes from my boy PM Dre Fitness. Guys, great channel. If you haven't checked out Dre's channel yet, definitely do. He's got some great content up on there. But he asks, will you be releasing any other athletic apparel under your brand, like pants, accessories, etc.? So Dre, if you didn't know this story, my man, I honestly came up with this 
design and t-shirts just to be able to send out to my clients as a thank you. So anyone that was working with me through online coaching, I just want to be able to send them this shirt as like kind of a thank you for choosing me to work with me and whatnot. Um, but as I started making everything and designing everything, I got a ton of people you know, being interested in the product at hand. So I was like, you know what? Why not just put them on the website and see what happens and kind of market them on Instagram. And guys, honestly, the past two weeks as I put them out there, they've been a huge, huge success, which I was blown away by. So thank you so much for everyone that's been interested in purchased the t-shirt so far or long sleeve or crop tee and whatnot. But they've been a huge success and honestly, um, with them being a much bigger success than I am, I've already started thinking about different stuff and just different ways to put it out there. Just being so fresh into it, guys, and just kind of being so new with all my coaching, I just wanted the Matt Lee fit on there, just kind of advertise myself and, you know, just get my name out there, per se. But down the road, I definitely want to be able to switch over if I want to pursue this, because I never really wanted to get into apparel, maybe coming up with an apparel-type brand. Um, so I already have some stuff in mind kind of pursuing the future with this. But as of now, guys, I just want to continue to build up a reputation with myself. So I just want to market the whole Matt Lee fit thing out there. But I'm glad you guys like the logo. The wave, like I said, it did come from the tattoo there, and I will talk about that later. But Dre, hope that answered your question, my man, and I really do appreciate the support. Question number six comes back to my boy Maurice Cooper, man. This dude, he's a loyal, he's a loyal watcher, Maurice. I appreciate it, brother. And he asked, how are you able to balance work and social media, dude? Great freaking question. And I'm not going to lie to you, it is pretty difficult. It's something that took me a while to get used to. Um, so, pretty much, guys, I do work a nine to five job. I, I mean, it's more like seven to three. Again, they're early and I get back by three. And between that, guys, I usually come home and I'm training till like six o'clock. If I'm by myself or I'm training clients, it's usually in there even later. Um, but like I said, this is very, very important to me, guys. And this is what I want to pursue full time eventually one day down the road. Um, when it gets to that point in time. So with that being the case, you gotta put in the work. You gotta keep putting in the hours, um, just keep grinding away at it so one day that, you know, this is my dream and one day when it comes to reality, it will all pay off. But honestly, Maurice, it comes down to how bad do you want it. Um, like, I try to plan everything out. So my YouTube videos, I try to sit down every single Sunday and plan out exactly what I'm gonna be doing this week, what videos I'm gonna be filming, when can I vlog, um, what's the most interesting stuff I can vlog because I don't wanna keep hitting you guys with a car wash or like a driving edit and so forth. So I try to plan out exactly what I'm gonna be doing that week in terms of filming stuff. Um, the Sunday series is a great way to do this just because it allows me to get another video out that I feel like is very helpful um, just with the topics I've been able to produce recently. But in terms of that, that's pretty much the YouTube stuff. So Sundays I'll come down and try to plan everything out for the week ahead of me, what I'm gonna film, when I'm gonna film it, and I'm gonna do an edit, a commentary, and so forth like that. Um, and just kind of formulate the story in my mind. Just because when you're filming a YouTube video, I feel like having a story and kind of picturing, you know, you're gonna put this clip with this clip and that clip with that clip is the easiest way to do it instead of just winging it and really not know what you're gonna film for that day ahead. As for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Maurice, I'll honestly kind of look to see what Post of mine are doing the best you know are they the shirtless pictures are they the workout clips and so forth and then I'll kind of study those to see how they're performing and then I'll try to get more of that out during the week um, if that makes sense um, but they're the same thing man every single night so if it's a Monday night I plan what I'm gonna post for Tuesday if it's a Tuesday night I'm gonna plan what I'm gonna post for Wednesday um, so I always make sure I have content for the next day I always try to post two to three times a day I know it's a lot but like you just got to get stuff out there you really just got to get your name out there per se so I realized the more I post, the more likely, you know, I'm gonna get seen from something different. Um, so yeah, man, I, everything's planned the day before, if that makes sense to you. Just because when I get in work, I really can't do all this stuff there. So I, I try to plan it. So nine o'clock, I'm gonna quickly go on my phone real quick, post this picture, write this caption, boom, get back to work. 12 o'clock on lunch, boom, do this thing. And I come home, get back from the gym, seven o'clock, boom, do that. Um, so sorry for a little rant here, but that's usually how I do it, man. Just kind of, just gotta plan it, dude. You gotta write everything down um, and just plan ahead and you'll be good to go. And last but not least, guys, question number seven comes from RTS Fitness, my boy Steve. I'm actually gonna see it in Houston. He's doing the summer shredding show as well. So man, I'm looking forward to seeing you out there. And he asked me to do a video on posing for men's physique for beginners. Steve, that is coming out, my man, with the Road to the Show series starting up literally like I think five to seven days, depending on when I get this video out. Um, I have a ton of stuff planned for that, you know, going over my diet, going over my cardio, my training, all this stuff. I'm really gonna try to get as many videos out as possible this year when it comes to losing weight and just doing men's physique as well. I'm gonna get a whole posing video out for you as well. I have that planned, it's all written up, it's all ready to go. Um, so I'm excited to get that out, man. I'm sure it's gonna be helpful. I hope it helps you and helps out some other people as well. But guys, that is going to wrap up this Q&A. Short and sweet for you guys today. I appreciate everyone that reached out and put a question in the comments below. Um, if you guys want me to do more of these, please let me know. I absolutely love making for you guys. I just love being able to, you know, interact with you guys some more. So it's just, it's just cool. I think it's a really cool thing to do. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel, daily vlogs every single week, 
as well as the Sunday series every Sunday. So you guys want to hang around for that. A lot of good stuff coming. But guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. You'll be my